What is up, everybody? It's time for some Crash Primal Surge. Hope you're ready, man. I am. Here to have some fun. We've got a uh, Vorosh, right? Vorosh? Yeah. All right, man. Yeah, I can get behind that. A little soul tie action. Yeah, we'll keep. And then um, as far as opening hand goes, yeah, we'll go and keep. We've got two lands, Karatid and Temple of the False God to get online, hopefully. And we've got a way to get um, Primal Surge. So we're going to keep on this one. But yes, this is Crash Primal Surge. I, um, I released it last Friday. Really fun deck. I enjoy playing it a lot. It's kind of just like a combo deck in a way, but to me, this is almost like a spike deck for me because we have a very solid win condition. There's not really, you know, there's some dirtling to go on. Um, and let's go, let's go March Flats, and then we'll go and pass the turn. But yeah, so this is kind of like a spiky deck for me, man. It's um, we have a, it's kind of I guess, I guess like a combo deck. I don't, if you want to call it that, I mean it is. We win the game once we cast Primal Surge, but. Uh, yeah, man. I want to cast Primal Surge as quick as he can. So let's go and crack this uh, Marsh Flats, and then I'll cover what our commanders do in just a second. So let's crack this, and we've got green in our hand. Uh, yes, I know, Dorothy. Sorry, my cat's uh, tapping on my leg for me to pick her up. Um, let's go Blood Crypt, put that in the play tapped. One second. She's my production assistant whenever I record. Um, let's get the. Um, let's go ahead and go Bloodstained Mire. Let's grab a um, the Taiga off that, and let's go a little Sylvan Karyatid. And then going past the turn. All right, I'm gonna pick up the cat, put her in my lap, and then we will cover what the commanders do in just a second. Okay, there we go. Yeah, she likes to sit in my lap uh, while I record, so that's my little production assistant. Uh, I don't know what I pay her for though. She's not really that good of a production assistant. She usually sleeps on the job, but uh, hey, is what it is. Pretty cushy job for her. Okay, so we've got um, one, two, three, four. If we make the land drop. Yeah, we're going to stick down a Corpse Jack Menace. Heck yeah, man. I love Corpse Jack. Get that down and then go and pass the turn. But yes, we're playing Crash the Blood Braided. So whenever another creature dies, we put X counters on Crash, or X was that creature's power. And that counts for our opponent's creatures, too. Playing against Vorosh, the Hunter. Flying, whenever he deals combat damage to a player, you may pay uh, three. If you do, put six counters on Vorosh. Yeah, all right, man. Zealous Conscripts. Okay, so let's go Forest... We can't get down. Yeah, we're going to go for a crash right now. Let's go for crash. We're going to add that uh, instead of the black right there, red, green, get the junk colors out of the way. That way we can swing in with the uh, corpse jack. And if he wants to block with the oracle, we'll get the extra counters on there, get two extra counters on there. But yeah, at its core, the win condition of the deck is Primal Surge, if you didn't see it. And uh, we, on the back end, there's still just, it's just junk good stuff, basically, man, with a bunch of creatures. Um, the reason I'm recording a video of this so quick is because I did make some changes to it. So uh, whenever people comment on, like whenever I release a new deck on Friday, and people are always like, hey, man, have you tried this out? And, uh, you know, if you're mentioning it, that means it's not in the deck. And so I took some of your suggestions and added it. And uh, I got Birthing Pot in here. I added some more spot removal with, like, Big Game Hunter and the um, Necrotal, I can, man, I cannot remember what his, his name is, but it's two black, two colorless. You know, the Battlefield Destroy Target, uh, non-black and non-artifact creature. So I kind of pumped up the spot removal, and uh, yeah, added, I think I added a couple more card, cards in here. I cannot exactly remember. Ooh, Kiki Jiki Zealous Conscripts. What's up, buddy? Okay, so let's get down um, Temple of the False God. Let's go and swing in with Corpse Jack first. That's going to be four right there. Now we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's just enough to get down Rune Scar Demon. Um, I want to do a little setting up. Let's get some Savage Vent Maw going, because then we can get into weird spots where we can generate a lot of mana with uh, Kiki Jiki on Savage Vent Maw. So let's go ahead and go, um, looking at one, two, let's go uh, red and green. And he may have a counterspell for that. You know, I'd rather draw a counterspell out for uh, Vent Maw than uh, Kiki Jiki or Zell's Conscripts. Because we can't win the game like that. Um, I usually don't go for it unless we draw into it, and we have drawn into it. Now, if things get... Um, and that is... Oh, you get to, yeah, you get to choose three modes. Okay. All right, man. Can't pay for it, and Crash gets bounced in the hand. Yeah, I'd rather uh, lose a Vent Maw off the Myst Mystic Confluence than... Uh, one of these, or at least a Runescar Demon, because it's so easy to get into Primal Surge that way with it. But yeah, I got Birthing Pod added in here. Um, yeah, man, Birthing Pod should have been in here from the beginning, but uh, the way the way my ma my brain works as far as magic goes, if it's banned in uh, 
if it's banned in modern, it's like banned in my brain forever from all magic formats. So I forgot birthing pod was a thing. I got that added in here. So that definitely helps the deck out as far as tutoring up stuff. And then we get our uh, temple of the false god blasted right there. Anger, okay. So we're looking at five mana. We can kind of just go value and go Kiki Jiki and leave him out there. He might have a kill spell or some spot removal. There's nothing really for Reclamation Sage to come in. Um, we could cast Crash. Um, well, let's go ahead. Well, if we get down Kiki Jiki, then we lose the combo. So let's let's get Crash out again. If you got another counter spell, sure, go for it, and it'll go back to the command zone. Okay. And once again, we can swing in with Corpse Jack. Now, we're going to swing in. He blocks with Acidic Slime. We're going to get four counters on Crash. Well, that's going to trigger afterwards. Yeah, we're going to go and hold off. That way, he kills something. I think I'm correct in thinking that. Um, he'll die. Corpse Jack will be in the graveyard. And then it's a, like a replacement effect. Yeah, so we'd lose that on those extra counters. So swinging in would just take away the Acidic Slime. But um, some spot removal would actually be really well. And then if things get a little hairy... Oh, we got Duplicant coming in. Yeah, then we'll just try and jam the Zealous Constructs combo. All right, so he's going for Corpse Jack right there with the Duplicant. And we can still Reclamation Sage to blow the Duplicant up if we want to take care of that 4-4. Four, four. Scalding Tarn. Okay, so let's get Scalding Tarn down. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 with the... Uh, They still don't carry a tit out there. We can go Reclamation Sage and Anger and kind of do a little setting up. Because I'm afraid if we go Kiki Jiki, he might have some type of removal over there, and then we'll lose out on Kiki Jiki. Yeah, let's go, let's go for Anger. That way we can kind of test the water. So let's go, uh, let's get down Anger. No, excuse me, we can't get down Anger and Reclamation Sage. Yeah, let's go for Anger. Well... Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll go for Anger. That'll get there. Creature has, creatures have haste. Uh, we can swing in with it. Or if we want to swing in, we can block and we'll go in the graveyard and give our creatures haste. Yeah, I think I like that. And then we'll crack this Scalding Tarn on our opponent's turn. But yeah, so we got Spot Removal, added some uh, Birthing Pot. I'm trying to remember what else I added in there. And that, that's one of the drawbacks to playing this deck is that uh, you need your Mana Dorks to get into a... Uh, to be able to fire... Uh, Primal Surge off uh, reliably, and you don't have those uh, Cultivate and Gnomas reaches that you normally would to help you get ahead on land drops. Actually, excuse me one second. Sorry about that. Uh, I had to clear my throat real quick. Uh, but yeah, so uh, that's that's a bummer not running the... Um, th man, those just make such a huge difference. So good. Okay. Yeah, we may go for Kiki Jiki next turn. Let's go and crack this. And let's get down. We need uh, black mana just in case something happens to uh, the carry tit over there. So we're going to grab a Badlands right there. Ooh, awesome. But it's target non black, yes. Yeah, so that's not going to be good for his commander. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One away from getting both of them down. Now, if we get down Reclamation Sage, blow up the duplicate, that'll make Crash a 7 7, and we can swing in. Let's let's see if we can't set up the combo. Uh, I, yeah, I, I'm okay. Let's see if we can't set up the combo. So we're looking at 1 2, triple red. And then we can just make a copy of uh, Anger. So that way he can swing in, get those counters for Crash, he'll turn into a 5-5. Five five. Yeah, because if he deals, he's going to deal 6 to us next turn. If he pays that, he's going to get 6 more counters. That's going to be 12. That's going to be 18 commander damage in the following turn. Okay, so we get those counters on Crash. 
Yeah, and that's this is one of those things where, you know, some people are always like, hey, man, you should build more of a spikier deck sometimes. And, uh, th you know, to me, this is spiky. So uh, we may go for the Zealous Conscripts combo next turn. Force it, force the action, just because we don't have uh, we don't have a way to deal with um, once he gets those counters on there. So yeah, we're gonna have to try and stick that uh, combo over there. It's not the best commander win; it's an infinite combo, but uh, we gotta do what we gotta do. We're playing 50 creatures in here, and that is definitely one of our win conditions. Little cheap, but uh, hey, man, that's the Warriors right there, man. <laughs> Zealous Conscripts and Kiki Jiki, man, here to have some fun. And plus, you know, we're paying full sticker retail price for it. You know, we have a Kiki Jiki sitting out there waiting for some removal. The only thing we're really going to have to watch out for is a counter spell, and if he's tapping out right now, yeah, he's only going to have two mana, so uh, we're going to go for the Zealous Conscripts. Not the uh, the prettiest commander win, but uh, we got to do what we got to do, man. Okay, so let's get down this Soul Ring. Uh, let's get down Zealous Conscript. So we're looking at uh, red. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, he's tapping the bridge. Let's see what we got going on, man. Oh, <laughs> oh Mystic Snake. We got snaked, man. <laughs> we got snaked, guys. The snake was waiting there underneath that bridge. We should have paid the toll, man. <laughs> okay, so we make a copy of Karyotid. Uh, we can get the Reclamation Sage to blow up the uh, duplicate and get some more counters on Crash. I think that's what we want to do right now. Okay, so we're going to choose uh, Karyotid. Make a copy of it. Let's get down Reclamation Sage. We're looking at uh, that and green. Yeah, that dude, sweet play by our opponent, man. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, so we're going to blow up the duplicant. I'm going to get those counters on Crash. Yes, we would love to use his ability. All right, so Crash goes to a 9-9. Um, yeah, we may have to go and swing in just because um, that's going to be 18 commander damage the, the following turn. And we need to get something up and running. So, uh, yeah, he's probably just going to block on, block on Acidic Slime, but we just don't really have a way to deal with uh, Vorosh coming through in the air. So we're just going to go and swing in, see if we can't take some people down with us. Um, I think we'll go ahead and go Anger coming in hot, too, because he can, yeah, no matter how he blocks, we'll either get in for two, and then, uh, you know, if we take something else along with us, sure. Yeah, that's one of those just, we've got commander damage looming, and since we're not running legit spot removal, or it's target non-black, and he is black, it's just kind of what we got to do right now. So we can go, we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we're going to have 8 mana, so we can go Runescar Demon. Um, I was hoping he would have blocked on the Anger to get haste, but we can at least cast Runescar Demon... Now, if we rip a land, we can go, we can, well, no, excuse me, I'm thinking, I'm thinking evoke, evoke on the, on the Shriek Maw, that this, this is not Shriek Maw, we have to pay the full, full retail sticker, and that should be 18 commander damage right there, yep, 18 commander damage, okay. Bloom Tinder, yeah. Well, excuse me. Runescar Demon flies. <laughs> we can block right there and stop him right there. Yeah, so let's go Runescar Demon. Search up a library. Search up a card. Yeah, excuse me. I don't know what... My brain is just not operating on all cylinders right now. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and... Um, let's go double black. And plus we have the Kiki Jiki option to make a copy of it. Okay, so we got Runescar Demon coming in. Now, he's got four cards in hand. He, yeah, we've seen a ton of counter spells, so he definitely could be countering it over here. Counter's target spell? Yeah, man, you got it, buddy. 
not gonna be able to pay it, man. Oh yeah, and then you drew that. Yeah, but I mean, it's something we had to do, uh, just because uh, we needed some type of blocker. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it, man. It should be commander damage. Yep. Good game, buddy. Man, that was talk about that Mystic Snake coming off the Moss War Bridge. That was pretty solid right there. That was pretty sweet, man. It's one of those like, what did he flip with that Moss War Bridge? And uh, it's a Mystic Snake, man. So uh, that's Commander right there. <laughs> you know he was so ready to fire that bridge off, man. Whenever we got Zell's conscript up and running. Yeah, he's swinging in for twelve. That's a good game, man. That's gonna be Commander damage. Hey, I don't, I don't mind losing to Soul Tie. It is what it is. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.